Aurangzeb, is having some information. And Ambassador Fatmi is special from the Prime Minister and our Ambassador, our Foreign Secretary, special from the Prime Minister, Mr. Fahad Hussain. Uh, <clears throat> so it's really, uh, it's very good to meet you and, uh, you know, ECO uh, reminds one the days of RCD. And uh, <clears throat> believe me, RCD was uh, a brand which uh, took off very well in 60s, 50s and 60s. And it was uh, like, uh, you know, minuscule European Union. Uh, but then uh, uh, rest is history. And now it has been rebranded as ECO, which is, of course, again, very, very good. But, uh, and I'm very happy to hear from you that uh, now you are uh, including Central Asian countries as well. I think this has the real potential yes. uh, we should be aiming at and we should tap this potential for uh, uh, these countries and hundreds of millions of people living in this part of the world. And I think uh, uh, there is great potential of uh, uh, railway connectivity yes. from uh, Istanbul to all the way to, to, to uh, Pakistan. And uh, that requires, of course, some initial investments. Yes. And if it is uh, undertaken, it will have huge economic dividends. Sure, sure. And then we can also have connectivity, my brother Yashin, from uh, Central Asian countries via Afghanistan and all the way to Peshawar and to Gawada. Uh, I think these are, uh, are uh, broad parameters of, of, of our economic uh, vision, which should uh, be, I think, uh, on high uh, uh, priority of ECU's agenda. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, this will have uh, great dividends. Uh, uh, member countries will benefit immensely. For example, if we can have connectivity of, of uh, railways from Central Asian countries to Pakistan through road, this will be a game changer. Definitely, sure. And um, you know, we can transport, um, you know, oil from Central Asian countries to Gawada, gas to Gawada, have, uh, you, know, uh, um, you know, plants over there to convert into, into LNG and then to export it to the world. And then industrial and agricultural projects. So I think sky's the limit, uh, yes, Brother Yash. Yes, I think sir. let's... Uh, uh, work on these lines, and I would uh, encourage you to uh, to uh, create an environment to host a uh, uh, ECO uh, member countries uh, summit, uh, including uh, Central Asian states, and have a you know proper uh, homework done, you know agenda, you know through consensus, uh, you know we agree on agenda, and then let's have a discussion. This will give a big push and pits to uh, your efforts. Yes, right. As you said, excellent said, sky is the limit. We should work as much as possible. For example, just to give you an example. Yes. For these floods, I mean, uh, effectees, uh, uh, Turkey has sent uh, goods through a railroad also, rail transport. But then we would offload them in Zaidan and then reload them, and then bring it to, uh, to, uh, to Pakistan, to Balochistan. Again, we would offload them at uh, probably Chagi or somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a major and then, and yes. because, so of, uh, because of, because of a different <laughs> system of, uh, yes. of uh, rail railways. Yes. Yes. So if we if had, uh, have a feasibility yes. done, and uh, you know, in order to create, uh, you know, you know, harmony and, uh, you know, Synchronize the system. It have some. Uh, it requires some initial investment, but once it is undertaken, this will uh, change the landscape, economic landscape, and will have huge dividends for Iran, for Turkey, for Pakistan, for region, yes. and uh, yes, and this will become uh, 
you know, an economic, uh, you know, line for uh, our regional cooperation. Yes. yes and from true. the other side, from Central Asian states, yes. we can have this connectivity. This will be a, a mini European Union. Yes. Sir, so this is a loading unloading problem that also exists in road transport also. Not of course. Yes. And then uh, uh, projects, uh, investment in agriculture, in industry, and uh, we have uh, uh, supplementary and complementary, you know, devices. For example, if uh, Pakistan, let's say, produces item A, and those items in Turkey and Iran are produced at a high cost, we will export that to Turkey and Iran, and then what Turkey produces at a, at a, at a cheaper cost, will be imported from Turkey, from to Pakistan and to Iran, and what Iran produces. So this has to be a three-way economic uh, cooperation model. Sure. And this is how we can promote our, 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 our economies, our uh, you know, workforce, and expand our uh, portfolio. This is the project, this is one of the projects we are being discussing in East your Secretary, Secretary. Uh, Excellent, it's no sure, no doubt. It's, it would be a great opportunity for our region to have such a uh, project like railroad or uh, normal road flow. It would, would be perfect, as you said. Mr. President, I'd like to invite you to Pakistan along with your uh, uh, members. You are most welcome. Uh, we, will we will play host to you. Welcome to Lahore, Islamabad. Very nice country, very big yes, country. Yes, and, uh, and we are brothers. And, uh, we felt very close to us, uh, especially after visiting those areas. I felt uh, uh, very close uh, those regions. I felt very close to me. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, inshallah, we, we, we have a chance to visit again your country. Again, Nazim. بول میں وزیراعظم سے ای سی او ٹریڈ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ بینک کے حکام کی ملاقات وزیراعظم محمد شہباز سے ملاقات ہوئی ہے ای سی او ٹریڈ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ بینک پاکستان کو ایک سو پچاس بلین یورو کا قرض دے گا